we're back here and we've taken delivery of the floor beams. They're here. Big stacks of them, stacks of them, a load more here. We're good to go. I'm going to use the digger, get some straps, strap them from the digger bucket around the beam and hopefully at least lift them partially into place. Once they're inside the walls, the beams, once they're inside the walls, I can shimmy them around, lift them up. They're heavy. They're like, I think like 37 or 38 kilos a meter and some of them are like five meters long. Yeah, they're, they're, they're heavy, but you, you can shimmy them in as long as you lift your legs, not with your back. So that's the plan for today. So I'm taking delivery of all the blocks tomorrow. I do have blocks here today, but only enough to set out the beams, as you can see here. I've gone all the way along the edges with blocks and all the way across there. And there's a load down the front that you can't see. And that is get, you're gonna get one block on each end so get them in the right place and you just infill it when they're all in the right place. Okay, right, enough of me chatting. Let's get going. Oh man, winter's definitely setting in because it is cold out today. Says him he just took his coat off. <laughs> so I'm gonna try using these ratchet straps to carry these beams. A lot of this I'm going to make up as I go along. Right, let's see how this goes. I just got one in place and I thought I was recording. I forgot to press record. But there we go. One beam in place. I'm going to power through that and see if I can get as much done as possible. I'm not going to get this all done in one day, unfortunately. So I'm going to come back in increments and sort of show you bits and pieces of how it all goes in and, and, and whatnot, how I get on with it. I'm determined to do this on my own. I don't want a help until I realise I need help. but. This can be done by one person. Man, these are heavy. Heavy. Can't drag them. Got to lift them. I put this down because it's slippery. Hopefully, you could drag it over, but no. You got to lift it no matter what. Now hopefully, I'll move that round this end, it can sit on that wall. Last time I did it and I missed it, I had to put it down and squat and lift it up. Ah, get out! Christ! That's heavy. Very heavy. One more of those to do, and I think I'll call that for the day. Oh dear. It doesn't half hurt your arms and your back <laughs> and everything, but anyway, mustn't moan. I wanted to do this on my own, and I'm doing it on my own. I'm stubborn, I'm gonna do it. Good stuff. <laughs> 
Right, I'm gonna get that last one in. Call it a day there. Here we have two of the bays with all of the beams on them. I'm leaving this bay for the time being because where I'm putting the beams for this bay, I don't want, they're gonna be in between these beams. Just say these two beams are where, where they're supposed to go. The beams on this empty bay here will slot in between, but this will be a wider gap, but they will slot in between here. I want to get all of these in the right place so that when I lift those ones over onto here, I don't have to just put them all in here and move them around again. So everything's gonna be in the right place. I'll just bring them over. I say just, just bring them over like it's easy. I'll just bring them over and I'll be able to put them in the right place first time so I don't have to shiv shimmy them around a lot. I'm going to start over here in this back corner here and just work my way through this way and then over to here and then work my way through this way then I'll move those in over into, into here. That DPC that I've been going on about a few episodes ago the, the damp proof course uh, a roll of plastic 100 mil thick plastic that you put on top of it to stop it going through now this is it. Very simple idea all it is it's thin plastic, that's it, nice and simple. And that stops any damp coming up through the building. So these beams are here. Right, let's just open this up. This will get rolled out along here. This stuff is gonna go all the way around the whole building on the inside here and on the outside. It won't be on this one, it'll probably be three or four up around here somewhere. But the idea is you roll this out and you put these on top of that and then the damp stops here it can't come up through the plastic because plastic does not absorb damp whatsoever that goes around every single internal one and this sits on top of that and then we don't get a wet building well, so once you've got the beam somewhere in place these are the blocks that are going to sit in here and run along here but because you don't have one of these beams on this outside it work here the only problem is that happens and you pinch your gloves this is why when you buy the beams you get shipped with these they're an extra but make sure if you do do this and you've never done it before make sure you get the brick slips that go with it because you don't want to be cutting down blocks to go all the way around just get a pack of these so what these do these go here obviously you muck them in and then this just sits on top of that and then you get it nice and flat and you do one at each end you do that the whole way down one block at each end don't bother in filling it all in case something's wrong just do one block at each end so you can shimmy it around put these bricks in just i'm just going to put them there i'm not going to muck them in just yet i want to get everything in place and once i've done this extra bay then i'll go around and muck the hole in in one go but you've got to put the dam down all right, so now that's in the right place. I'm just going to pop the damp under it and just roll it out. So then when I come over, I can just plonk the, beam, I said plonk the beams on them, plonk the beams on them, get another block, plonk it in, and just work my way through the whole, the whole bay. This is where you could do with someone to help you, <laughs> just to pull that along. That's good enough, that'll do. Whew, that is heavy. I'm not gonna bother putting damp through here just yet because I don't need to brick them in, so. So I can stay just like that for the time being. Just gotta make sure that's in the right place and then uh, I'm gonna go through and do the whole bay. It's gonna take a while, but at least it's done then. Then all I've got to do is just run all the blocks in. Just put them all in. Good job, well done. So yeah, that's how it goes. Right, that was my whole day in two minutes. That was hard work. That was hard work. <clears throat> if anyone out there is doing a block and beam floor, I severely advise you not to do it on your own. Just getting all those out, put all the blocks and all the ends, everything was all set out for those two bays, but fuck me. That was hard work. They are heavy. 
and you have to lift them up and get the damp under it. That's me for the day, early day today. I've, I'm practically falling asleep just sitting here. Yeah, I'll leave that. <coughs> I'll get the rest done tomorrow. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm so tired now. I kind of feel like a fifth wheel around here. Is there anything I can do? I don't know, is there anything you can do? I can drive that digger. Got a class two rating. Be my guest. Where do you want it? <laughs> Bay 12, please. All the beams are in the right place. All set out nicely. All the damp is in the right place. Everything is sat on the damp here. You can see all through here. That goes all the way around. You might be able to sit over there. Behind this damp there. And that runs all the way around underneath every beam, all along here, all along here. So now we've got to do fill it in with blocks. Once I've filled it in with blocks, I'm going to put those slips in and then we have a floor. Ah, I say that. There are some double beams that are sat next to each other which walls are going to sit on. The infill in that, which I now has to be filled in with concrete. So I have to fill that with concrete and then what you have to do is you have to put, cover the entire thing in a slurry mix which essentially grouts in all of these little lines here but this where these beams are doubled up this is where it's got to be filled with concrete all the way through there's one here there's two over there there's one over there uh i think that's it but yeah slurry mix is a really wet mix of just sand and cement i'm gonna make it quite strong so it binds it all in nicely and you just really wet just pour it over and brush it in with a broom just go over the whole thing and then you'll have a finished floor. Go and put these blocks in now. Then we'll have something to stable to walk on. finished doing all the blocks they're not all in because I've run out I under ordered no bother I'm gonna put an order in for more blocks for the floor I'm also gonna order all the bricks for the whole build I'm also gonna order all of the blocks for the internal I think that's it I'm also gonna, uh, that's it all the cement because I've just used up the last part of it in that wheelbarrow there but while we wait for that order I'm gonna go around I'm going to put all of these brick slips in. As you can see, I've put them all the way around the job. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here, work our way through, putting them all in here, as I showed you before, and just go around the whole place doing them all. So yeah, I'm going to crack on with that. And there we have it, one finished block and beam floor. I've done all the cuts, all the blocks. I'll put the, the wash over the top. The, uh, the really murky, really wet sort of grout, I'd call it. It's been probably a couple of weeks since I last put an addition on this video. As you can see, winter is definitely here. I've uh, been dealing with some dreadful, dreadful weather. It's today, it's sort of minus three. The sun's out, but as you can see, the sun does not really, the sun does not really come above those trees or that. 
or that mound at all throughout the day in the winter so this snow's been here a couple of days it's still really cold really yeah it's it's, it's really cold so I've, had, I've struggled but um i didn't film anything because i wanted to get this done as you can see anyway so block and beam floor is done i'm just waiting for delivery on all the materials to build it and digging out wave rock we're almost there the last little last little bit hopefully another day or so and that should be done <clears throat> and then i can get in the back there i need to dig a little bit more out here where the fireplace is that's all got to come out so i can get in and build the uh, fireplace now my phone's ringing so just give me a second okay so what i'm gonna do is i'll leave that video for uh, this one this episode i'll come back to you guys um it'll probably be a week or so once i've dug out wave rock here and uh, i'll come back when all the bricks and blocks are here and i'll show you the detail for the dpc level and the dpc trays and everything for the gas membrane as well because i need to get all that in so the building inspector can come and okay it so then i can do the quick bit and build the whole thing if you like this video leave a like down below now's a great time to subscribe if you haven't already and uh, if there's anything more you want to see from me just tap it down in the comments below and i'll make sure i'll have a look at that and check it all out and see what you guys think so far but yeah so i'll leave that there for you guys thank you very much for watching and uh peace i'll see you next time all right one thing quickly before i leave you you know how i'm always saying that there are things that are out of your control that happen like problems that you need to overcome well um yeah we've had one of those <laughs> the uh where i was digging out through here the trees have fallen down where all of that earth was backed up just behind the digger the whole thing collapsed at the weekend so i have to cut all these trees out and try and make it a bit safe so there are always problems that are out of your control that you have to deal with this is one of them these always these um add up to all the setbacks that eventually delay building works so always take into account there's always a chance that something like this could happen so with that note i'll leave you so let me know if something like this has happened to you so it makes me feel like i'm not the only one with a big tree lying in their house well almost house so yeah okay all right no worries well peace out take care remember like and subscribe if you haven't already and catch you next time